for the row of the table shown which rules could be used to go from the input to the output, check the box of all that apply. So this is a multiple selection problem, so be careful about that. There's more than one answer that could be right. Um, so in order to figure it out, I just have to test things, and so I'm going to start with 3x plus 3. So I'll take the x value, I'll multiply it by 3, and add 3. So 3 times 9 is 27, plus 3 equals 30. So this one does not work. Um, so let's try the next one. So I take 3 times the input of 9 minus 3. And that's what I'm getting from right here. So 3 times 9 is 27 minus 3 equals 24. So this one definitely works. I'll get rid of these marks so it doesn't look like I'm answering that one. Um, so let's try x squared minus 57. I'll do some work um, up here at the top. So x squared minus 57, I'm going to take the x value square it and take away 57. And so that's going to be 81 minus 57, uh, which, uh, doing a little mental math here, that's going to be 74 minus 50 equals 24. And so that one works, so this is a rule that's possible. All right, let's check the last one. Um, so y equals 8 square root of x. So I'm going to take uh, the input, put it under the square root, and then multiply the answer by 8. So that's uh, square root of 9 is 3, so that's 8 times 3 equals 24. So this last one works as well. Um, and so explain how you were able to tell the functions you selected work for the points in the table. Um, I tested them by um, evaluating the function for the input 9 and seeing if I got 24. And if I did, it was a function. If I didn't, it was not. Um, so on this next one, uh, number 30, um, you are going to have to do some imagining. You have to come up with three different ways to go from 3 to 15. The big idea here being that if you just have one point, um, there's no way to tell exactly which rule is the right rule, and it could be a number of rules. So um, if you just have one rule, row of a table, a lot of different rules could apply, and you can be pretty imaginative about what they'll be.